This is probably my favorite episode of the series thus far. What's going on guys, Chu here bringing you another review on The Promised Neverland. Things have gotten in a very interesting direction, despite the fact that we've skipped over a lot of information. But we kind of play catch up here with Norman, who finally gets a nice reunion hug with his friends, and he meets up again with a lot of the other children. And now that I think about it, it has been quite some time since they, since they all been together, and that we see that they've all grown, and we see how Norman is just happy to see them, but he goes on and tells them that he has a plan, that he has been able to escape this farm uh, called Lamenda, which there has been a lot of experimentation and tests going on, and with them are some people. Now, these guys are a peculiar bunch, and I'll get to them in a sec, but we see that Norman goes on and starts saying that he hadn't been going through the experimentation, it's just tests, and that he actually was able to escape. But unfortunately, these things are still going on in these farms, and of course, Gracefield is still hunting down the kids. So no one is safe right now as, you know, all these guys are basically wanted. And we see that he actually has developed a kind of drug that he actually wants to use on the town, I guess as like an experiment or I guess like a trial run. And this is going to allow the demons to kind of go back to a primitive state, thus allowing them to no longer crave human brains, but actually start killing each other starting to behave kind of like the monsters we saw in the forest uh, a couple episodes back those kind of demons and the only way to do this is to like you know like to live free i guess you could say is the eradication of the demons so we can see that norman definitely has changed he's honestly more uh he makes me think of pita from well, not pita uh uh the other guy from uh, uh, Breaking, uh, what was it? The, you guys know, the movie with Jennifer Lawrence, uh, Hunger Games, kind of reminds me of him, kind of like a radical at this point. He actually starts thinking about, you know, eradicating the enemy because this is the only way to do things. And though the kids are actually very happy about this idea, we see that Emma has stays very quiet. Uh, in fact, she says that she's happy but we can all tell that she doesn't want this. In fact, we actually have Ray talking to her after all of this, and we can see that Ray will do anything that Emma wants. Like, he, of course, agrees with Norman, but if Emma doesn't want to do it, he's on board with that. And so we actually have Ray kind of getting Emma to say what she was thinking, how she wants to coexist with the demons, and that Mujika and Sanju seem to be the exception, to be like, they don't need to rely on human brains to be intellectual. And so that's what they're gonna try to bring up to Norman. Norman does bring up their location. Uh, they do find it. And this is where we introduce with these characters. These guys very much have revenge on the mind. They are an interesting bunch. We have Barbara, Vincent, and S S Cislo, I believe that's his, I believe that's his name, excuse me. And he actually, they actually are survivors, basically. And what was crazy was to see that Barbara had this chunk of meat. You would think it's an animal, but it turns out it's a demon. This actually makes Emma very uncomfortable. Ray has no reaction, but we see them being kind of like, out of the picture and dismissed and Norman coming back and as Norman sits down with them uh, we have Emma kind of spilling the beans on what she knows and what he wants to do he shows the drug and what he wants to do but what really creeps Norman out is the fact that we have Emma saying that there was a person that they could interact with that he honestly had a horrible reaction to he even said the evil looking girl so could this actually be Mujika and Sanju? Could they be behind things? I'm curious to know what exactly is going on and what does Norman know? So stuff's getting really good in this. I'm really happy that it seems that now that we've gone through some information, we can finally move on and see what's going to happen from here on out. But guys, stay safe to care yourselves and others, and I'll catch you later.